Yo, what is up guys? Oscar here with a couple of new videos. Uh, and yes, you heard me right, a couple of new videos. Um, um, this is going to be my first video. I'm talking about the NFC East picture now that the Giants and Cowboys game has gone final. What the playoff implications are for Washington and Philadelphia, you know, the, the game later tonight. Um, also talking about you know, the act, um, players being active for Washington. I know I'm a little late um, getting this video out. i just feel been feeling under the weather the last few days. So um, please bear with me. If I sound different, it's because, like I said, I'm currently under the weather and I'm trying to, um, you know, not, you know, uh, not cough or whatever. So, um... Let's talk about the NFC East. So the Giants Cowboys game just wrapped up um, a little about ten minutes ago, and the Giants won. So this means that either the Washington Football Team or the New York Football Giants will be hosting a playoff game. Pretty simple for Washington. Winning you're in, of course. Um, this is huge news for Washington. Alex Smith full go, Terry McLaurin full go, and Antonio Gibson full go. So. You know, three key important pieces for that offense are full goes. Hopefully, the the team is not rusty with those you know with those injuries injury injured players. So, hopefully, this team can can get things going. You know, everyone is saying, "Oh, Philadelphia is going to blow out Washington or whatever." No, I think this is going to be a close game. I don't think Washington's going to blow out Philadelphia. I don't think Philadelphia is going to blow out Washington. I think it's going to be a close game. As I said in my game preview, which you guys should check out. I posted it on Thursday. So, now it's Washington, of course. Winning your in. Don't, uh, you know, spoil the Giants party or whatever. Um, of course, Dallas tried to put up a good fight. Just some questionable um, flags. Questionable coaching. I can't wait to see what Skip Bayless has to say um, tomorrow about the excuses of Dallas losing. I just can't wait for that. I'm going to wake up. Hopefully, if I'm, you know, feeling good enough to, to watch him lose his mind. Um, so, can't wait for that. Um, so, it is official also that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, with their win, um, they are the five seed. So, if Washington or the New York Giants win the division, it will be Tampa Bay coming to their hometown. So, um, I'll get more in depth on that th this week. I'm not going to, you know, get ahead of myself. I'm not going to do that. But um, Tampa will either will win the NFC East champs, whoever it be, the, the New York Giants or the Washington football team. So um, those, those are the news. Well, that's the latest report now. Like I said, um, all the offensive keys are expected to be a full go. Hopefully Alex Smith can hold up so that way Taylor Heineke um, doesn't have to play. You know, like I said, he played well enough for seven and a half minutes, but you got to translate that to 60 minutes. It's a, it's a huge difference um, for for quarterbacks, in my opinion. So, oh, excuse me. Um, let me know what you guys think. Who do you think is going to win the division? Um, interesting. Everyone was thinking that Dallas or the Philadelphia Eagles would win the division. No one gave the New York Giants or even last the Washington football team a chance to win the division. So that is the storyline heading into um, this week. Or not the storyline, but a huge thing that now I think people should just shut up and not make predictions anymore. Um, because you never know, especially with this past year, the 2020 year. Where we had to deal with COVID and all that, you know, it's it, it's a wacky. It was a wacky year all around. Now we're in 2021. Hopefully things calm down, but you know, it is what it is. So now, hopefully, you know, it's down to the New York Giants and the Washington Football Team, the two unlikeliest teams to win the NFC East and host a playoff game. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Stay tuned. My next video will be recapping Real Madrid versus um, Celta de Vigo. Yesterday's matchup, like I said. I was kind of feeling under the weather. This is why this this review of this game is coming to you guys later or literally a day after the game. So stay tuned. Peace.